Hi guys, my name is Carol. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a vocal booth for $40. Um, that's assuming that you already have the microphone, uh, the mic stand, pop filter, and the cable. Um, if you don't, you're probably going to be spending around $250 minimum. Uh, it depends on what kind of quality you're looking for, obviously. But if you're just starting out, I, don't, I think $250 is, is, uh, is a good amount. Uh, you can get some good quality uh, out of that. Anyway, so I'll shut up about that and I'll show you how to make this vocal booth. Okay, so we're in my uh, closet, walk-in closet, and I use this as my vocal booth because it is perfect. It's a perfect environment for recording vocals because um, the, all the clothes in here and all the fabric and all the stuff that's actually in here uh, further contributes to the perfect um, acoustic environment that you want when you're recording vocals, which is a completely dead space. Um, the reason why I said forty dollars or thirty-five to forty dollars is because this sheet of Oralex foam uh, cost me between thirty-five to forty dollars at uh, Sam Ash, so it was a pretty good deal over there. And what I did is I sliced it down the middle and I kind of um, just put it around the microphone so that when I am actually standing here, it's it's a crazy different sound. I'm not sure if you can hear it pick up from the camera, but um, it's it's a different sound. It's much more dead and, and it gives um, that feel of a professional vocal booth in the budget environment. So um, yes, and I also didn't mention this SE reflection filter in the $40 obviously because it is not um, a $40 item. But uh, this thing, I think, it costs around $300. Um, I didn't mention it because I don't think it's necessary uh, to have. Um, many of you might disagree with me, but um, I've used it with and without, and I don't really see the difference uh, in the vocal, to be honest. I, I Actually, I don't hear the difference. So uh, the only reason why I keep it is because I, I got it for free. So it's staying here. But um, I don't think it's necessary if you're if you're just starting out. It's it's probably going to be noticeable to a pro's ear, but I don't know. I've been recording for a long time, and I, I still don't hear the difference. So, um, and that's about it. That's uh, $40 given that you already have a pop filter, microphone, um, a mic stand, and uh, yeah, that's a walk-in closet for you. And it's um, even double isolation, obviously, when you close this closet door, uh, you're locked in, and... Um, Another note on that, being locked in and doing all the recording by yourself, you don't have anybody um, controlling your session and you probably would think, oh, I need to get somebody to control the session, that's going to be so annoying and inconvenient for me and I don't want to pay, blah, blah, blah. So what I would suggest is what, I, what I've been doing. I actually bought a Bluetooth keyboard and um, when I'm in here recording vocals, I don't have to keep getting out and going back, running back to my desk, which is around 15 feet away from this actual um, recording booth. So um, I did pick up a Bluetooth keyboard and I control my session um, by myself in here when I'm recording. It actually picks up from the computer. So um, that is a lot more convenient when you're actually in here for hours and uh, that's it. So that's a $40 uh, um, vocal booth and and uh, yeah so happy recording and please if you have the chance to um, check out my videos I do lots of cool covers and original songs so I'd love to hear what you think. Sweet all in, close your eyes, take flight.